like you ever felt. Are you listening? Damn. lately but I'm back like I feel like 95% back I was messed up for a whole week and from it's it was from taking probiotics you guys it's crazy I'm about to wash my face why is my face turning red right here oh my I'm about to wash my face I haven't been on the camera in like a whole week because I was down feeling bad and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you guys in a second what happened to me. Let me wash my face. I'm gonna use this La Roche Effaclair Purifying Face Wash. Just something slight. Man, your girl been down for like a whole week on this roof. Like I had, I started taking some probiotics and next thing you know like four days later i started having like bad allergies i kept sniffling i kept sneezing and then the following day after that i started having my body was aching and then it was like i was just feeling bad and i didn't know what was going on i felt like i had like the flu and so I was just like feeling bad, googling like what's what's going on. Like I'm trying, I'm thinking about what did I take last, and I figured out that I took, I started a new probiotic, and it was like thirty billion, um, thirty billion or whatever. I can't think of word right now. Microorganisms or whatever. And that's what I started. I was googling. Oh, dude. Probiotics cause flu like symptoms. And yes, it does. It causes flu like symptoms. I just started that. Why is my eyebrow red over top? Damn. Look like an irritation. But my skin started getting crazy. I had got a bump in between my eyes. Um it was just like I lost motivation. Like I was down for a whole week. Not feeling myself. My nostrils inside my nose was a burning because it was just like it felt raw. Like inside of my nose it was a feeling raw to a point to where as though when I was breathing it was burning. So I was just getting strange breakouts, one in between my eyes. I had got one right there. One on my cheek. And I was like, man, I'm trying to tell y'all, I got to go to work. I haven't been at work for really like a couple days just because I've been feeling so bad. I'm going to show you guys the probiotics to take, but I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm going to still take them, but I'm not going to take them every day. I'm going to chance it with a once a week thing, you guys, because I did notice my little bloat in my stomach was flat. It got flat from taking the probiotics. Let me rinse this off. I literally had no motivation, you guys. And it just hit me like I couldn't do nothing. Like I hate when I'm like I get sick and I can't do nothing. Like I was planning on working and everything like that, but it just happened you guys it just happened i started i changed up my dog food started making her raw food like i'm not feeling 100 percent, but i'm making her bowl putting chopping up carrots red pepper cooking spinach 
put in her little uh, supplements and vitamins and extra stuff in her bowl. Her bowl looked at so gourmet. She eating better than me. So it's coming down to the last meats I was feeding her. Chicken livers, beef livers, drumsticks with the bone, ground beef, ground turkey, turkey tenderloin, sweet potato, carrots, broccoli, kale, spinach, apples, and then I would sprinkle like a pea protein on top with add a mixture of ginger. It had turmeric in it, I think. I don't know if it had turmeric. Some seeds I ground it up into a powder. It had chia, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, girl. This baby was eating good, and I'm just to the point to where as though I'm doing all this while I'm not feeling 100%. But she been loving it, and I changed up her diet because her skin issues is going, driving me nuts, driving her nuts. She just keep itching her. She's having bald patches. I'm just like, what's going on? So let's start with the food. <clears throat> I looked at her food ingredients and it had like grains and stuff and oats and stuff like that in it. And chicken meal, stuff like that. Yeah. Basically bad preservatives. So I'm like, oh man, she not eating good food. The bag look good, but she definitely not eating good food. So I'm just like, let me try to do her own food at home. So basically I'm getting tired of making her making her food. Like I'm not getting tired, but I just want a convenient way to do it. And I found this one brand called, I think it's Steve's Real Raw Food. And they have like 13 and a half pounds of patties. I wanna keep her like on a turkey line more of a turkey based diet to see you know because I, I don't know if she's really allergic to chicken and stuff like that but a chicken bone every once in a while like you're with the drumsticks will be cool with me and her because she she getting a hang of really chewing on the bones but anywho i'm 95 percent you guys i feel good like i look like myself and i'm just so happy about you know just feeling better i was praying and everything like that and just everything happens for a reason let me show you guys the probiotics that i got i think that was like around 25 dollars and it's 30 30 capsules this is the this is the four or five women's probiotics this is the one of the shaker and you guys i'm just, just taking it you know trying to heal my gut but so far like i don't get bloat like i haven't took them in a week per se so i did notice that it takes down any type of unwanted bloat and everything is 30 billion bly probiotics this has prebiotics everyday care 10 probiotic strains yeah like i'm not going to waste these because if you look up this brand it does have so many good reviews nature's way is the brand i got this from my um local whole food grocery store where I get my Dead Sea soaps at. They only had one left. And yeah, something told me to get it. I'm back like I thought, you know, I thought it was over for your girl. But I'm back and I'm better. It's a little, it's been like, and during that whole time, it's been like May gray, gloomy, like no sun. Like it's, it hasn't been no sun really sunning in may so i can't wait to all this may gray to like may over with it's what it's tuesday i think it's the 30th we got one more one more day of may and i think it's raining out 
So I'm gonna be out working in the rain today, you guys. I'm gonna wear my boots. The only boots I got anyway. I get a lot of compliments on them boots because I got style, baby. I got them boots from um, Target. I call them out of the world crofters. Yeah, sir. My Tomb Raider boots. I used to play Tomb Raider. That was my game. Tomb Raider, baby. But yeah, it's like I feel completely better. I do like my appetite just started coming back. I've been fainting for some weird stuff. Vienna sausages and crackers. <laughs> I've been fainting for stuff like that. Craving stuff like that. But now I, I really don't want it. But the other day I was craving it when I was starting to feel better. I made me like I don't be eating pork like that but I, I fried up a pork chop I just bought two pork chops one for my friend one for me and it wasn't that big I fried them up I fried them things too it couldn't be fried them more with some macaroni and cheese and some green beans and it was really good really 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 good um, my shampoo and conditioner that I was waiting for before I washed my hair finally came in the mail. So let me show you that. I feel so much better, you guys. Like, oh. I tell you, when you're not feeling good, it sucks. It really does. I'm going to put on this loom. The Loom Deodorant. This is the Whole Body Lavender Sage. I'm going to look for a different scent. I like this scent though. So. This is the Aluminum Free Deodorant. Your girl been using. Like. Good with the deodorants man. It's about to be a month and a half. That I haven't used any of those bad deodorants. I've been using crystals, mineral deodorants, and this loom aluminum free one. So it was good for me to detox my underarms and everything like that before I really started getting into the loom. So being as though I'm I've been detoxing my underarms for like over a month now and and using non aluminum deodorants. I've just been using mineral deodorants. Like, I think I could really like get into this loom stuff because, yeah, my underarms feel good. I need to shave, but they don't what it do. This is a shampoo and conditioner from Maintain by Dollar Curl Club that I got. I ordered the hydrating cleansing shampoo as coconut and aloe and the hydrating detangling conditioner with olive and mango. I didn't open them yet. Let me open them real quick. Mm. That smells good. I can say this whole line smells beautiful honestly like this is the coconut aloe shampoo. I cannot wait to use it. Conditioner. Mm. Yeah. This smells good. Like it smells. It reminds me of like um design essentials of brand. It smells just so good. That that line. I like that design essential line. This smells so good. And I got the co-wash, co-wash. This is eight ounce. This has coconut and shea. Gentle, no suds, moisturizer formula. Stimulates and cleans without stripping. Mm. Yeah, all their products smell good. Make sure hair smell good. But what I washed my hair with last time made my hair feel good too. 
Well, I'm about to get ready for today, you guys. And I'll see you guys later. My camera about to die anyway. But, yes, yeah, so I just wanted to get on here because I feel good. I feel like myself again. And be careful on those probiotics, you guys. If you have any type of strange symptoms like I had, it's the probiotics, trust me. Just slow down on them because I'm not going to stop taking them. I'm going to wean in, taking them once a week. So, I'll be there. I'm back in the house. I literally just had to come back in the house because the weather is so gloomy and depressing. Now I caught myself buying chips, chocolate, milk teas. I said, let me get in the house because I'm spending money that don't need to be spent, you guys. It's just the weather. It's just gloomy and gray and it's just like a depressing feel to make you want to buy snacks and everything like that. Just, you know, make yourself feel happy. So I said, let me go in the house and clean. Um, I'm going to organize my little stand in the bathroom with my hair products. And I'm going to be getting rid of hair products that I just don't think I'll be using. Or just probably not really good for my hair. So let's get into that, you guys. Because I'm tired of seeing stuff that I'm, I'm not using. So, yes. I'm trying to lose my stomach some more, you guys. Mm. But yeah, let's get into it. So I'm literally trying to get this stand organized with the three tiers. I'm trying to get rid of stuff and just throw whatever I don't need out. So let's get that started. Let's see, Ooh, I look fat. I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm gonna get rid of all the stuff that I just don't use, you guys. So that's the plan this protective the I mean, this perfective mega growth going um i need a bucket or a trash bag i'll be back i've just used my target bag for whatever i'm not using i'm gonna just stack it up in here so i'm gonna get rid of that i'm gonna get rid of this african pride um cream i'm just gonna i'm just gonna get rid of everything you guys because i want to focus on like the new products that i got so i don't want to just hold on to anything this leave-in conditioner i'ma get rid of this this is the african pride this was also the african pride curling cream gotta get rid of that girl I mean, it's okay, but I'm not saying it's bad. But I love the smell of this um, daily dose leave-in conditioner, you guys. This daily dose leave-in conditioner. I got this from Sally, so I'm not sure if I really want to get rid of it. I'm almost done. It was kind of pricey for a leave-in conditioner as well, so... I'm not sure if I want to keep it or not, you guys. I'm going to just put this to the side. It's just for me, hair milk. I love the smell of this just for me, hair milk. It's actually a kid's. It's for kids, just for me. It has coconut milk, shea butter, vitamin E, sunflower oil. It smells so good, you guys. I'm, I love the smell. It just smells like the kids' products, you feel me? Just for me. Uh, I hate to give this away, but mm -mm -mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Should I keep this or should I not keep this? Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this. Let me put this to the side. Let me put this to the side. Well, you know what? I don't know if I'm gonna be throwing stuff away. But yeah, um, I'm gonna just give it away probably. I'm gonna just put it all in the bag. This silicone mix, this is a leave-in conditioner. Well, it's a leave-in. It don't even say conditioner, but silicone mix. You've probably seen this around somewhere. Let me see. Silicone. I'm gonna th I am think I'm going to get rid of this boo butter since it's right here with my um, hair products. I don't know. 
Let me hold off on that. Let me hold off. This is not even a hair product. Aunt Jackie's leave-in conditioner. This not even mine's, but yeah, this gotta go. Aunt Jackie's, you gone. This is a As I Am Double Butter Cream. You know, As I Am is kind of expensive. It's a rich daily moisturizer. So I'm going to hold this to the side. Hold this to the side. I think I got this when I was in Georgia or something. Yeah. This is a strengthening cream of nature. Strength and shine leave-in conditioner spray. You got to shake it to activate it. Let me smell this. I don't think I was too keen of the smell. Yeah, it smells like a strong smell. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Get rid of this. My flexi rods. Wanna keep these? Gotta gotta have the flexi rods. This is the Camille Rose Curly Moisture Butter. It smells like cake, but yeah, I think it's probably about about um ready to get rid of yeah. rubber bands rubber band me thank you rubber band me kinky curly not today leave in the tangler should I keep this one leave in the tangler it is organic mango we go i'll keep this because it's like almost gone anyway it's like at the bottom so i'll keep this just in case the your brush think this is a as i am leaving conditioner just like the texture of that i think i'm gonna keep this one too because it's a good quality one keep that one I love the Pillow Soft Curls. Mm. The smell is just so, it smell like laundry. That's why I did not give it away or get rid of it. I haven't used it in a while, honestly. This is the Pillow Soft Curls Styling Lotion. And I really haven't used it in a while. This stuff is really pricey, you guys. And the smell just smells so good. So I'm just probably going to keep it for now. Just to see. I'm going to try it out one more time. But I remember I had some really super soft fluffy hair when I used that. So a lot of the products I, I have is because it smells so good. Especially like this TCB Naturals Hair and Scalp Conditioner. It has um, conditioning, olive oil, and vitamin E. Mm. Moisture rich, eliminates dry. Girl, I'm keeping this because I love the way it smells. It's giving me throwback vibes and I just love throwback hair greases and stuff. This is an olive oil smooth and whole pudding. Mm. This pudding is really nice, you guys. Great for curl control as body enhances. Infused with coconut oil. I haven't used it in a while. But it's good for curls, ponytails, two strand twist. I don't know the ingredients is like long. I think I'm going to get rid of this because, y'all, this is, get rid of that. The top shelf is mainly like, not hair products, it's like um, deodorants and my feminine wash and little stuff like that. And speaking of it, I'm getting rid of this band. I wish it was not aluminum. 
I really like this Powder Fresh Band scent. So I'm gonna get rid of this while I'm straightening up. Oh my goodness. The Shore. Is this aluminum? I haven't gotten to wear this Shore. It's unscented. It don't smell like anything. But since I've been detoxing my underarms from the aluminum deodorant, so I'm gonna just get rid of it. I don't need it. It don't need to be taken up wrong. And this is the band Shower Fresh. Get my last sniff. What is this? Urban oil. Is this for my hair? I think it's a mix. See, I don't know. I'm a, it's not even supposed to be right there. This is a hair. Tiny liners. Q tips. I just had those in the bag. I need to put them in something a little bit more prettier than that. What is this? This is the jar that I put my shea butter in when I melt it down. I had just washed my hair with the Cabello Rose Sweet Ginger. My hair felt amazing. So what I'm going to do is, on wash day, I'm going to use the whole set one more time before I throw it away. I have the curl maker, the cleanser, and um, the moisture butter. I'm going to use this as a set before one more time before I throw it away. Or, you know, give it away. I'm going to leave this down here. The butter, I'm going to leave that. I keep this ultra glue. And it's the whole side. Where is my ponytail hair at? Let me put that to the side. My little hair wraps. I got these when I was doing my ponytail. So I'm going to keep these. Because they're going to come in handy when I do that ponytail again. I need to sweep this floor. I had got this little edge control from Target. This little edge control. I don't know if you can see. I, I need to get a new, new camera because as you can see, when I put something up to the camera, it just don't focus. Like I really haven't gotten to try this officially, but I'm going to keep it just in case. Like my edge controls and gels mainly, I'm gonna keep those. So far, I'm going to keep the Just For Me, the As I Am, leave-in conditioner, 
just put them towards the back so I can with the kinky curly daily dose moisture miracle leave-in the pillow soft curls there's jesse i love the smell and that's it you guys the shampoo conditioner come on baby just gonna put them oh yeah the co-wash basically I have everything from that set now this go in the trash oh this as I am double buttercream I'm going to use a double double buttercream and the leave-in conditioner as a set too before I give it away that's it you guys I got a nice little bag nice little bag that's that oh and i had found this dress for five dollars from burlington co factory it was only five dollars you guys it looks really nice it's gray i love me some gray let me show you. okay pretty Super comfortable dress for only $4.99 Burlington. This is a medium. It gives body super comfortable. It has the slits on the side. Yeah, so I like it. You can adjust the strap. I like that it's a v-neck. It's so cute. And I just been yeah coming up on the dresses lately. Super comfortable. cute I love it I love it love it love it it's gonna be my favorite dress to put on in the summer like mm, I should have got two for the price I might do that go get me another one you know because ooh, I just like how it fits me cute you could wear like a bra with this if you get the right bra or you could wear like a strapless bra it's so cute so cute oh so i had you know organizing my little hair products and getting rid of just a just a little bit i didn't have much hair products but lately i just been using the minimum oh i need to cut my nail my nails just been breaking like crazy lately. I'm so mad because I'm trying to grow them out. I've been keeping them like in an almond shape. But it's just, I wrote two today. Now it's just like, I'm about to cut them all back down to short. I hate when I break my nails. Like, I'm, my goal is to be long, healthy nails. But no. So it's been a long day for me. And I'm going to go in with my body prescription boss baby body scrub this is shea butter almond smells amazing you guys super fine and very moisturizing to the skin i'm gonna use that and i'm gonna use my dove exfoliating bar i love the smell of that with my almond castile soap moisturizing with my vitamin e hyaluronic acid serum love this combination and then i'll be moisturizing with my nivea cream this combination smells so good, you guys. I actually really like this Nivea cream. It's non comedogenic and it won't clog your pores. So I think it's excellent for dry skin, you guys. So I'm going to just get this shower started by just rinsing and getting that water all over my skin, you guys. I've been out all day, so this... Pampering is much needed.
I ran out of my dead sea salt soap. That stuff only lasts a week, but it's so good, you guys. But I do have the backup uh, five-pound bucket of dead sea salt. So I take my baths every Monday soaking into that dead sea salt. So, yes, I'm still getting the benefits while using my other soap bars and everything like that. And this is one of my f favorite Dove soaps because, you know, it's like that spray start scent. It just smells so refreshing type i'll be washing up in the order that i showed you guys the stuff mainly the soap bar then i'll go in with the almond uh, castile soap then uh i'll go in with the scrub last you guys and then i'll go in with the hyaluronic acid uh serum body serum and then the nibia cream once i'm all done with the shower so you guys i'm gonna let you guys enjoy this wash routine and i'll see you guys in a little bit your boy got the full body do rag out drop the roof and let you smoke it i got diamonds doing sissy slides in both ears dice rolling on the las vegas trip tonight slip that on and we might miss the fight fuck a night i keep the guala in my shorty bag no, she wanna mind when she tattoo that ass I'm a lover boy, she love the toys Keep it coming, you a rider It's that roll myself a day and count my figure shit It's that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit If I catch you knocking off, then it's gon' be some shit Well, you can do what you wanna Live how you wanna Spend what you wanna Be who you let me just tell y'all how good the almond scented Dr. Bronner soap is. This is so good. It's one of my favorites. This and the eucalyptus is my favorite. It goes so good with the scrub. It just smells so good, like a bright, fruity, fresh scent. If you haven't tried the almond one, tr please try it. I just run it up before I go. Would you tell the world my secrets if I let you close? In my action. These days, no
before I end my night, I gotta make Cookie some food. She's been having a lot of skin issues, so I decided to try raw food. She's been eating a lot of raw meats lately, just about for a week now. She's been on this diet. I've been making her some nice, beautiful plates. She's been eating better than me, so I had grounded up this little super seeds. I have this package. I ground that up so it won't come out whole in her poop or whatever, so I do a sprinkle of that. It has sunflower, hemp seed, chia seeds, all in that package. Then I'll add some um, pea powder, protein. I'll do a sprinkle of that. It has a little bit of uh, ginger in there as well. Ginger is good for them. And I do a little mix. I think this is this bowl has ground beef, uh, beef liver, apple, blueberry, broccoli, red bell pepper, sweet potatoes. I'm cracking the egg and I'll keep the egg shell in it as well. That's good for them. Just, you know, crack it up, crunch it up. Then I do a little mix and everything like that. She's been loving this food, you guys. And I'm just really trying to figure out what's going on with her skin you guys the bag of food i've been feeding her had a lot of bad preservatives and i was just crying mad like oh my god i can't get nothing right but she's been loving this and thank you guys for watching this video